Hi everyone, I hope you all had a great week and welcome back to another video. So in this week, I am covering OPM Backsol Valuation Method and it is yet another video in continuation of our Option Pricing Model series. So if you haven't watched the earlier video where I have built the Option Pricing Model from scratch, then please go watch it or else this current video won't serve any purpose. So let's start with a problem statement to understand why we need this valuation methodology or in which circumstances we can use this valuation methodology. So let's say if I tell you that there is a company XYZ which has recently raised a round uh, where the equity value per share is around $10 and the total outstanding shares of this company is 1 million. The simple calculation to arrive at a value of this company is 1 million share multiplied by $10 uh, per share value and the value will be 10 million right so in this example the capital structure is simple where there is 100% common shares but what if I tell you that uh, in a normal startup where you have a complex capital structure uh, with uh, different uh, preferred uh, shares series A series B series C then you have warrants then you have options uh, along with the common shares you can't uh, use this methodology so in that case we use the option pricing model so this valuation methodology is mostly applicable for uh, startup companies i'll take you through the typical startup life cycle we start from the pre seed stage uh, where, where you uh, put your own money which is also called bootstrapping you borrow from uh, family friends uh, the maturity is you are still at that concept and idea stage then you move to the seed funding where the maturity is at least you have a product prototype uh, then you go to series A where the maturity or is that your product is market fit or market ready ready to commercialize then series B series C series D series E it uh, so basically uh, in these stages your, your company is growing you're working at scalability and followed by public where you go for initial public offering get listed on secondary market raise money from general public and so on before you go public you normally raise uh, money through series a series b series c and these races are typically through preferred shares okay what if i say that the latest funding is series b where the per share value of series b was uh, around uh, three dollars so how you will arrive at a implied enterprise value or implied value of the company that is what we are going to discuss so let's go through what is backsol method so the backsol method is a valuation approach that can be used to determine the value of common shares for a company with complex capital structure in which there have not been any recent transaction involving common shares so although there is a transaction related to preferred shareholders but not common shareholders then how you will arrive at the value of common shareholders that we are going to discuss so it consider the most recent price paid for investment in preferred shares and uses this information to place a value on the common shares so once so basically what we are going to do is on the basis of preferred shares the recent uh, transaction on preferred shares we are going to calculate the implied value of a company and using the OPM model we will arrive at the per share value of a common shares. So let's go straight to the model. So this is the model we built earlier in case you haven't watched that video I again insist go and watch. Okay now let's say the latest share value of series B is around $12 okay I will highlight this over here this is $12 which is series B latest price based on the recent transaction and when we arrived at this 6.64 uh, implied value for series B we have uh, used the DCF model and on the basis of this DCF model we arrived at an enterprise value of 40 million okay now this 40 million is no more valid because based on the funding round the latest value for series B as we discussed is 12 dollar which is this value 
So let's say it's been one year when we did this DCF valuation and arrived at a per share value of uh, series B at uh, 6.64. Now after one year, the series B is valued at $12. Now what would be the implied value of a company on the basis of latest series B value? So here I'm going to use the goal seek function. So the shortcut is alt TG. So alt TG. Okay. Now what we need to do is first let's see what is our target value. Okay. So our target value is zero. So we want this implied value of series B to be 12. Okay, before calculating the enterprise value, uh, I just want you to note one thing. Okay, right now the value of common stock is 2.83. So we will paste the value over here. This is the earlier value. Okay, and this is based on latest funding. Okay, and this is before the marketability discount. So we are going to see how this value would change. Let's use the goal seek function all TG. Now we have to set the value of this to be zero by changing the enterprise value. So if I do this, now the enterprise value is changed to around 98 million from 40 million. And if I go to series B preferred stock price, it is uh, 12 and the target value is 0 and earlier the common share value was 2.83 and now the common value is 10.77 and it has increased by around uh, 8 dollars in absolute terms. So this is how we can uh, on the basis of uh, latest uh, preferred round the per share value of the preferred round, we can calculate the implied value of the common shares. I hope as usual, you had a great learning session. And as a side note, I understand this, this topic is uh, not uh, straightforward. It is little complex. So in case if you have any doubt, you can uh, write in the comments or you can uh, uh, DM me on my LinkedIn and uh, I will get back to you with the solution. So, Thank you so much for watching again and have a nice week.